loves, welcome back to my channel. I cannot believe that we are basically in the end of 2016. Time went like this. It's crazy, it's crazy, it's crazy. I can't believe it. Today, I do have a New Year's Eve inspired makeup look for those of you guys who are interested in doing a little bit of a glam for New Year's Eve but are still maybe indecisive, don't know what kind of look to do. Here's an idea right here. Um, this look is fairly simple, um, and I did use the Laura Mercier setting powder today, which I, it's actually my first time using, I just got it. I used to use my Sasha powder, but I decided to give um, the Laura Mercier a try, and I actually really liked it. I also put my hair in this, mid-high ponytail and yeah i'm also wearing this dress actually a, a fitted dress with this kind of thingy over here i'm bad at describing things guys but um yeah it's nice and sparkly new year's eve like um if you guys are interested in seeing how i did this look then keep watching guys um so what i'm doing right now is i'm just canceling out this coloration on my eyelids by putting on um concealer all over my lids i'm going to be setting it with um my laura mercier setting powder just to make sure that my eyelids don't crease on me um for my eyebrows products that I use everything will be down in the description bar below like always i'm first starting off with my take me to brazil palette i'm taking that red rusty color and putting it right into my crease It's crazy how fast 2016 went by, y'all. Like, like this video if 2016 literally flew by for you, because it flew by for me. What I'm doing right now is going into my Morphe um, 35OM palette, and I'm then going into that uh, rusty orange looking color. And I'm also putting that in my crease, helping to build the crease colors, and mixing that with um, the red color that I used before. Going back into the same palette, I'm going to be going into the brown color, and I'm also going to be applying that into my crease as well. This product um, that I'm going to be using, this one right here, by BH Cosmetics, it's kind of reminds me of like a paint pot from like MAC. This one is in the color Bisque or Bisque or whatever you say, I don't know how to say it. It'll be in the description bar. Um, and I'm putting that all over my eyelid just before I apply um, the eyeshadow to my lid. This is just gonna help the color that I'm putting on my lid pop a little bit more. And for the start of the show, I'm going to be going into my Morphe 35 um, F palette. And I'm going to be placing that color all over my lid. It's almost like a sparkly kind of raspberry um, looking color almost. I'm then going to be using a pigment that I got from um, eBay. Um, but guys, can you believe it? The pigment literally, as soon as I opened it, it literally fell all over the floor and that was the end of it. So I'm literally just using the remnants that was left in the jar um, to put on my um, eyelid. I'm mostly focusing the color um, kind of on the outer third of my eyelid and kind of just blending it out after that. I'm going back into my uh, Take Me to Brazil palette and reaching for the black color and I'm putting it right in my outer V. This is just going to help to smoke out the look and make it a little bit more dramatic. Mm -hmm. 
So I'm just going to be quickly lining my eyes with um, some eyeliner and then applying my um, eyelashes. Um, these eyelashes are my all-time favorite. They are the car lashes in the style 48. Then I'm going to be moving on to the face. I'm going to be applying my primer. This is by e.l.f. actually. It's a hydrating primer mist spray and I love it so much. My foundation that I use is by MAC and it's just, it's from the Studio Fix Fluid line and it's in the color NW47. So I'm just going to be buffing that into my skin. I'm using the e.l.f. Um, powder brush to do so today. Then for concealer, I'm going into, what is this? This is my Maybelline concealer stick in 30 Cafe. I'm putting it in all the places that I usually highlight, which is under my eyes. I'm going to go in between my eyebrows, my nose, my chin, cupid's bow, all that fun stuff. And I'm going to be blending it out with a damp beauty blender. And then to set my under eyes, I'm going to be, oh, not there yet. I'm setting my face right now. I'm using my MAC Studio Fix um, Powder in NW50. And here I am now setting under my eyes. This is my L'Oreal Mercier setting powder. This is actually my first time using it. Um, and I liked it. I really liked it. I'm putting it under my eyes. And then I'm going to be doing a little bit of a contour using my Ruby Kisses 3D Face Creator. I'm not sure the exact shade it's in, but I'll put everything down below for you guys. Um, and I'm using this toothbrushy kind of brush to kind of carve out my contour. I'm not doing anything too crazy with the contour today, just, you know, it's New Year's, guys. Come on, it's New Year's. <laughs> you gotta be a little bit extra with your makeup. Blending that, blending that all out with a um, beauty blender again, and then I'm wiping all the powder off. Um, in just a second. I don't usually wear blush, but when I do, you know I'm going to somewhere really special. Um, this one is by Raisin, and it's from MAC. Putting it on the apples of my cheeks. And then my favorite part, highlighting. <laughs> this is, um, I always forget the name of this palette, but I use it like almost every day, but I can't remember the name. Um, it's a highlighting palette by BH Cosmetics. Um, and I'm putting it um, on the high points of my cheek um, to add that nice glow. want to glow right into 2017, okay, boo-boo. For the lip liner, I'm using my Beauty Treats lip liner in the color dark brown to line my lips. And then this is um, Velvet Teddy by MAC, which I actually neglected for a really long time. Um, I'm finally using it after so long. And then on top of that, to add some gloss, I'm going ahead with one of my Kylie um, lip glosses in Malibu. And then I'm just used doing my waterline with some black eyeliner and spraying my face. That's pretty much it. Oh, except for this part. Um, here I'm just adding some eyeshadow to the corner of my eyes to brighten my eyes and open it up a bit. And that's pretty much it for the look. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys have a great new year. Wishing you all the best in 2017. I'll see you guys again soon. Bye. Two, one, happy new year!